hey everyone in this video i'm going to uh, add a domain in microsoft 365 admin center and do the required configuration from on the um, cpanel of my domain uh, account uh, which i have purchased from hostinger so the domain which i've purchased is uc collaboration online and basically i'm going to use this for my team's integration right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click uh, i'm going to log into the i have logged into the microsoft teams 365 admin center and navigate it to the settings here and after navigating to the settings here you need to click on domain so once you click on domain you need to click on this add domain once you click on add domain it is going to ask you like what is the domain that you want to add so i'll copy this use collaboration.online and paste it here and once you do this right then you have to uh, basically click on use this domain so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on use this domain and once you're done with this right so there are basically a uh, different method uh, that you uh, have to use in order to verify your domain so it is uh, mandatory that you have to verify your domain otherwise you cannot add uh, the domain in a team's admin center because they will not uh, they will have to trust you that you own this domain it is not owned by anyone else right so when you purchase a domain so um, the uh, this is something like you have to verify on the team's admin center that uh, this domain belongs to you so there are multiple uh, methods uh, which you can use in order to verify a domain one is add a txt record to the domain dns records so in this method right what you are going to do is you are going to uh, basically uh, create some txt records on your dns server of your domain that you have purchased and then uh, you are going to do the you know uh, verify your domain the next step is if you don't if you can't add a uh, text record uh, add a mx record on the domain dns record so that's uh, that's you that is something you can use when your txt records are not supported by your domain uh, provider now another way is like for example uh, in the hosting plan let's say if this domain is up and running right you what you can do is you can basically uh, click on this edit text file to the domain website so what it will do is you have to basically download the text file from uh, the admin center and you have to upload the text file in your uh, host uh, account so that whenever you uh, whenever microsoft tries to verify that record it is able to you know find so basically uh, you need a domain as well as a hosting plan uh, if you are going with the third option but for the first and second option you don't uh, technically need a, a hosting plan right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on add a text record on the domain dns record and click on continue so here uh, what it says is like basically we detected on your um, we detected your dns uh, hosting provider is other so you can um, what you can do is you can basically here they have mentioned the step-by-step -step guide like what is the configuration that you need to do in order to uh, do this uh, configuration uh, up and running right so what you have to do is uh, you have to copy this record txt name okay and then you go to your um, hosting a provider and click on manage so in the domain provider what i came here and now what i'm going to do is i am going to click on this change name servers right and then what i'm going to do here is i'm going to under the manage records i'm going to select this record type as text and here if you see txt name so txt name would be what you have copied just now so I'll paste it. So it was at the rate, so which is already there. Now copy uh, the txt value. So I'll paste the txt value here. And now next thing is TTL. Time to leave. I'll copy this to 3600 and paste it here. Add a record. So I just added this record. Okay. 
and this record should be uh, it may take some time for uh, your uh, dns server to populate this in uh, all the dns server so you may have to wait for some time if i click on verify maybe uh, this uh, takes reflect immediately or maybe it might take some time maybe five ten minutes or half an hour depending on your provider okay in this option uh, there are a couple of uh, things that we can uh, plan to choose one is uh, let's say uh, add your own dns records right so let's say if you have a uh, dns you're already maintaining on your domain server right you don't want uh, microsoft to manage your uh, dns server for you uh, so in that case what you can do is you can uh, continue to use the same uh, domain uh, dns server uh, on your domain you don't have to change the dns server to microsoft and you can continue to use uh, the dns server whatever is there uh, on your domain and then you can add your own uh, dns records whatever uh, microsoft recommends another way is uh, set up my uh, set up my online services for me so in this case what you have to do is you have to basically uh, point your domain uh, account to uh, you know uh, micros uh, to towards microsoft so microsoft will manage uh, your dns records so if you see here update your domain name server to point to microsoft and microsoft 365 will add the rest of the dns records and set up your online services so let's say we don't choose uh, this uh, setup uh, online services for me we'll choose add your own dns records so we'll set up uh, our own dns records on our domain server now the third option is if you don't want to set up uh, this particular option you want to skip this part you can uh, definitely skip this part so we'll add your own dns records <clears throat> now here uh, it asks you to uh, create some certain type of records so we'll what we'll do is we'll go ahead and create certain type of records on our uh, uh, um, account uh, domain account right so one is your MX account, one is your CNAME, and one is your tax records, right? We don't want to use Skype for business. And in, if in case, if you're planning to use it, you can check this box and add those records as well. But however, we, do, we are not planning to use this at this moment, right? So let's do this. Now let's go, let's copy this. So by default, it will be at read. So we are going to add a MX record. So we'll come here, uh, we'll select this as MX. And at the rate is already there. Now what we'll do is we'll copy this and paste it in the value. And the priority is zero and detail is one hour. Priority will make it as zero and detail is one hour is 3600, right? And then add record. So one record added. Next is it is asking us to, you know, mm, um, create a CNAME record and CNAME record should be auto discovered in the host name. Let's change this to C name and in the name we'll make it as auto discover and point uh, to address the value we'll put it as auto discover dot com and TTL is one hour so which is thirty six hundred again okay so look like we have one more C name already. Okay, so we have a uh, multiple CNAME. So which uh, what we can do is we can uh, remove the CNAME, which is uh, by default created by uh, the domain account. So we'll delete that. And we'll add our own entries. Okay, so to discover. And we'll delete this entry as well, auto discover and auto config. So I've kept it as C name, and now what I'll do is I'll uh, create a C name record now and save this. Okay, DNS record edit successfully. Now what I'll do is I'll edit text, text record go here and edit text and in the text it is at the rate in the value i'm going to put it as this value and the time says one hour so which is i'm going to make 3600 dns record edit successfully right so it may take some time to uh, propagate these changes as i mentioned earlier so let's click on continue
so it says like uh, Microsoft is not able to detect the uh, new records on the dom uh, domain account like it sees like uh, it this may take some time around 10 minutes although it may take uh, up to 48 hours so if you look here right uh, the CNAME CNAME was added successfully it is able to detect this but however the uh, MX record it is not able to detect so it is a uh, uh, not able to match proper values. So I think uh, one of the reason is because uh, since uh, the server might have the old records, right? By default, what it creates uh, you, when it tries to create a domain, it might have the old records. So we might have to uh, remove these entries. If you look here, so if you look here in the MX record, it says like invalid entry for this particular MX one hostinger uh, hostinger dot, dot in right. So this is the invalid record. We might have to you know uh, remove this so that uh, this is uh, this will no longer you know populate uh, this error. And another entry is this, so we'll have to remove this as well. So I'll come come here and remove this MX entry. So these two entries are removed now in the text record right. So we have to remove this entry as well. So in the text record, if you see, we'll remove this entry. Now all the entries are removed. Now whatever newly added should already be there. I'll try to click on continue and see if the error, error disappears. Okay. So it's still not still it is able to find the old entries even though if you try to search for the old entries it will no longer be there okay and this entry what we'll do is we'll just validate if this entry is properly uh, there or not okay text record it's just text record and at the rate and 3600 and 36 oh okay so if you see here uh, this is set to 4400 so what we'll do is we'll make it to 3600 okay now for this record also i'll just revalidate if it is set to 3600 or what Okay, this is also 1400. I'll change it to 3600. Now click on continue. Let's see. <laughs> Let's revalidate. Okay, it is there. This is also there. So it should be correct now. Uh, so let's give uh, 10 minutes uh, time and recheck this. Uh, I'm hoping that this error should go away in 10 minutes time. Let's wait uh, and then um, see. I'll pause the video for now. Okay, I just retried again and looks like the text record is able to you know identify but still the mix record is uh, not yet identified so let's give some more time and wait for it to come up i'll pause the video again i tried it again uh, looks like uh, the domain setup is complete now uh, so it is able to uh, detect all the uh, records now it says next user is uh, next step is like a uh, go and uh, go to active users or verify a uh, view all domain right uh, so this is how you uh, do the integration I'll click on done so let's see the status over here so it says like a possible uh, service issues so we'll see like some of your DNS records aren't set up correctly which may be impacting your organization use Microsoft services go to DNS uh, records to view the error and fix the records so let's see here So it says MX record has some issues. Uh, I, I believe, right? Um, so we may have to give it some time uh, so that it is able to, you know, fix it. Uh, maybe uh, the DNS record or uh, propagation has not has happened properly yet, right? So we'll give it some more time. I'll try to refresh it once more time, but we'll give it some time, maybe uh, an hour or so, and then revalidate it after that. Uh, and the 
uh, record should come as healthy it should be okay after that instead of an error all right i'll pause the video for now so let's fix this and then we'll move to the next steps okay i gave it some time and the record looks okay now now let's see and go back to the domains and now it should show up in healthy state so right now we look at it right it is in healthy state so this is uh, the very basic uh, you know set up uh, that how you you know do the domain uh, related configuration on teams admin center and your hosting plan is uh, uh, sorry domain plan as well domain account right so in the next video we'll see more related to the teams integration thank you for watching